What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So you're actually going to be talking about A Quiet Place today in this video. I haven't talked about this franchise on this channel in many months, ever since I did my movie review for the second one. Um, but word came out from from the uh, Paramount panel at CinemaCon before the Top Gun screening today. No scream news, sadly disappointing again. <laughs> but word came out that the third movie in this series will be titled A Quiet Place Day One. Now I do want to say that this isn't, of course, actually what they're considering a quiet place three this is a spinoff it's titled a quiet place day one it's going to be directed by michael sarnowski i guess um who is going to be heading into the quiet place series with the third installment in the franchise which again is being described as a spinoff movie that he will be directing and this is an article i'm reading from bloody disgusting it says the last that they heard a quiet place day one will be unleashed in theaters on september 22nd 2003 and it sounds like this will be a prequel to the first two movies considering the fact that this is called day one but then again there's also people who have pointed out to me that there is that scene in the second one that takes place on day one so are we just going to be spending time with a separate family on that same day sounds like it um so i guess it is indeed a prequel that's just going to be focusing on a different family and their reaction to these aliens arrival on day one and not the abbott family because according to a report from deadline it said that the hope is that this film would help set up a potential quiet place universe that's that the studio can build on for years to come it is also also known that while not out of the question, Emily Blunt and Krasinski likely will not reprise their roles in this installment. John Krasinski is expected to produce alongside Michael Bay, Andrew Form, and Brad Fuller. Meanwhile, it's expected that the Abbott family storyline will eventually become a trilogy, with Krasinski recently teasing that he has ideas for the third film in the main series. Now, that movie there that I guess many of you actually might care about more since you're attached to the Abbott family more so than whoever about to get in A Quiet Place Day 1, that movie, from what I recall, is supposed to come out in 2025. So next year, what you're getting isn't actually what they're considering A Quiet Place 3. You can call it that, I guess, if you want to, but there's a reason it's called A Quiet Place Day 1. It's supposed to just be a spinoff movie, I guess, taking place on the same day that we saw in the second one uh, where the creatures actually arrived on Earth and just experiencing that with a different family and seeing how they responded to it. And then I guess going from there, setting up a unique a unique world and just exploring different narratives with different people. So I guess like I was starting to think they would do with this series if they got the chance to, this might this might become like a like a Walking Dead type of thing where they have many movies in this universe with intertwining narratives that well not intertwining well intertwining in the sense that they're all in the same world maybe you even have some some survivors that culminate in a main series movie with the abbott family to end it all because what i don't want to happen is this to become like your next saw franchise where you're just getting movie after movie after movie after movie after movie or you know like with friday the 13th nightmare on elm street um i love all of those series as you know but the thing honestly is that when you start doing that yes you are going to start getting into the aspect and the corner of producing something that is bad something that is a sign that you should have stopped a long time ago so like i mean the whole thing about this is making money i get it for a lot of these studios and that's what their main thing is that's not what we the people going out to watch the movies care about but we know how they operate if you go out and see it and you show them that they're gonna get billions of dollars from it they're gonna keep cranking these things out so if a quiet place becomes like the walking dead franchise for cinema for the next decade or so i mean i'll i'll be there for them but i have a feeling that of course it'll get stale as well very early in the sense that if the narratives are not compelling or if they just start to become very repetitive in the way that they have i mean i don't really want to say repetitive because i guess you could say a lot of the screen movies are repetitive in in small aspects i guess but you know if you're not able to constantly just crank out material that is getting your audience interested in seeing it again but i mean of course if they're constantly going out and spending money to see it you won't start to care what the quality is because you see that these people go out and watch anything i think that's what the direction would be if we ultimately got countless of quiet place movies but i'm hoping with day one that we at least get some answers as to maybe more answers about what these creatures are where they're from maybe uh, 
maybe learn some new secrets about them that we don't already know we know that they are blind and we know that they have like enhanced hearing which is why everyone else is quiet uh trying to stay away from them and stay out of sight so they don't hear them but you know as far as like the movie dropping next year in september you know i think that is a safe spot so far going off of going off of my memory i don't recall there being any big movies coming out that weekend i might be mistaken honestly just because i'm thinking about only horror right now <laughs> but with this movie hopefully it'll be something that is ent entertaining another another solid entry into this soon to be franchise it seems like and something that will hopefully get us excited for the abbott family's return when they do ultimately return in their own third movie because or what i should say is in the actual a quiet place three since again a quiet place day one is not meant to be considered a quiet place three which is why it's again called a quiet place day one uh it's just a spinoff it's set on the same day of what we saw in the second movie day one that flashback before we jump to the modern times after the events of the first film with the abbots going away from their home after their attack what we could do is maybe the family we're focusing on in this movie is someone we saw at that game with the abbots or maybe somebody who was close by uh just something in the vicinity of i guess what happened in that flashback but we're not going to see it from the perspective of the abbots we're going to see it from the perspective of this other family who got out or maybe it's just something completely different altogether still in the same area as the abbots but just not as close and really no relation to them in the long run since it doesn't seem like these people will be making an appearance in this movie there's a strong chance that maybe this is just one of those people that i know uh the father was trying to communicate to at the top of that tower in the first film where they were all lighting fires which is kind of like their their signs and hinting to us that they were going to start doing this because there was a whole universe to explore signs of that shown in the first movie now we're going to get something like that full-fledged with this third one which they seem to be thinking will open up the open up the door to a universe to explore but let me know what you guys think about a quiet place day one down in the comment section below are you excited about it let me know down in the comment section if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post vacation and you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video